All right, we're here. We're live officially this time. Not that fake start shit that I did to TC two minutes ago. Because <laughs> I'm awful like that. But anyways, uh, Super Chats get a spin of the wheel. No crazy prizes on there. We're going to try to answer all your questions. TC is going to tell the tale of fighting a tree at Steamboat. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have a poll in the chat box wherever it appears. And it's, have you ever hit a tree snowboarding? So feel free to answer that and we'll get that going for you guys um let's see what else uh don't forget to check out the cultural mystery link of the week and uh we got this comment from ali zekera and if anyone is in eastern idaho girls shred for free tomorrow at kelly canyon so if you're a lady go get your free lift ticket we encourage that get more people out on the mountain so yeah so anyways, okay. Uh, well, we're going to start off with this super chat from Letters. Make Jeff clean his car already. Hashtag hoarders. Jeff's, uh, Jeff's Jeep is, is going to get cleaned. He fought a guardrail and the guardrail won <laughs> on his way to Echo today. Oh, wow. He's got glass in his head, he says. Oh, my God. Dude, he posted it on the Discord. The thing was, like, tipped over. Like, he fucking smoked that shit. He's like, I hope my snowboards are okay. And I was like, hope oh, you're okay, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's give letters a spin. That's right. You get nothing. Uh, let's see. We got this one from CJ. Did you see Nev Lapwood's video on the step-ons for snowboard addiction? Nope. Probably mm -hmm. never will. No. Nope. All right. David Graham, looking for a quiver killer. Ride a Shadow Banner Jones Mountain Twin, 200 pounds, size 10 boot. Love my 58 wide assassin. Hate my dance hall 52. Good and pow, but unstable everywhere else. Too heavy for uh, dance hall. Lots of back leg pain with it. No, that just sounds like you. I mean, I ride the 52 and I weigh as much as you with a size 10 boot and it's fine. You got to go into it and think you got to go into it knowing it's a party board, not like a full blown free ride charger. That's yeah. the thing. Most people are like, I can go charge with this. No, no, you can't. That's not how that goes. But which board would you choose out of those two for them? Well, I think the like the Jones Mountain Twin is very similar to his assassin. So like he really doesn't need it. Well, what if he's just then, replacing it? Oh, maybe if he's just replacing it, but it sounds like he wants something different that would take over for the dance hall instead. Yeah. Well, but, I mean, if that if that's the case, dance hall pro. Yeah. <laughs> Get the stiffer one. No, uh, <laughs> probably actually we should go with the super pig then if you find the dance hall too soft. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for that, if you're looking for like a full free ride charger, I'd probably go like a deep fake then. Just yeah. Because. Yeah. Like that is sounds like more what you want, like something that will cut through everything and like float pretty well for you and just charge. So, and hold up like an edge. So I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But yeah. Otherwise a super pig, if you want to stay volume shifted, but yeah. 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 All right. And yeah, we'll take this super chat from or Ian hit trees, smoke trees. We all have trees in Oregon. Factually sure. true. <laughs> well, this isn't blank. Uh, and uh, car wreck, thunder cheeks, more like tree crusher. No, he's Treacy. Yeah, I like he's not that. Treacy. He's Treacy now. That's that's where we're going with that. I don't know. When we get 100 people in here, you want to tell the story? Yeah, I will. All right. All right. Okay. We'll take this one from Orient. Six foot, 205 pounds, size 11 boot. Want a true power board that floats great. Five to seven flex. I don't know what that fucking means. Those numbers are imaginary. Good setback. Good in trees. Good in steep terrain. And can also take some hard landings off small, medium cliffs. Two okay. or three quiver cannon. <laughs> That's 11, huh? 203. 203. 203. 
I want to sell so many of those for next year. <laughs> it's the BBC, the big black cannon. It is. I mean, Jones Hovercraft would be good. It might like, because you're looking for that mid stiff, I'm guessing. But that's what I would say. That one would be a good option for you. You could do that. In Other the 56. Yeah, that in the 56. Slight volume shift on it, but that would be good enough for you. Or size 11 boot, no problem. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I guess to an extent, you could kind of do. Well, like an alchemist would probably be too much, but like an antidote. Yeah. Like a K2 antidote. Uh Rome Ravine Select. Yep. So that would be in there. Let's see. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad choice. Yeah. Otherwise. MC Wayfinder. If you want to do a lib tech. Yeah. That Wayfinder too. I, looking, I just looked at that board actually because it is in the room right now. And I looked, I was like, I don't really know how stiff that is yet. So it's not so. It's fully directional. So it's going to be like the nose gets really flappy on hard pack, but which it's great when you hit like even wet pow because it'll just bend and flex right up and then you float right up on it. So okay. that board's super, super fun. Kind of deadly on a firm day though. You're like, mm, okay, I need something a little bit more. Um, you could do like a Telos Caldera, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, let's see. Oh, that Stranda mackerel is fucking fire dude that yeah fire. i was i was thinking the salmon fish as well but i was like i don't i don't know if that'll fit a size 11 the fish yeah yeah you think 57 or up yeah okay yeah if you're, the fish would be good for you 57 you should be you shouldn't have a problem with it yeah i mean the 57 would be good for him he's 205 like. yeah exactly i mean i've ridden the 53 in that because that's what they gave me and i was fine yeah at 200 but the 57 is wider so uh i would look at an amplid morning glory honestly because it comes in a 160 that thing it's gonna float it's got that like right in front of the rear insert pack when you press it down it just picks the whole front end of the board up too so <sighs> all right okay Next question from Waco. Looking forward to natural selection, but now with Angry and Thunder Cheeks commentary. We might have to give up a day of snowboarding to go or live. We'll just have, or, or we're going to come in live late. Might come in live late. Yeah. We still got to ride. We got so <laughs> nice. much shit to ride. Yeah. I don't think so we might understand. come in late for it, which would actually be pretty fun. Like for second round, probably. Or second laps. Yeah, something like that. Depending on when they do it, though, because we were just talking about this. They're like, I remember one year they started at noon, and one year they started at like nine, and then they talked for like two hours. So, yeah, I don't want to talk over other people talking because it's just boring. So, oh, I'll just mute them. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear. <laughs> Most of those people are like, it's funny because you know how they have the two groups. Yeah, like the group with Todd Richards and shit, totally fine with watching. The other group, I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, God, this is so bad. So, yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll think about it because uh, the start window is Sunday. Like it's Sunday to Sunday, I think. It's, yeah, the tenth to the seventeenth. Yeah. So. so we'll see when they have good snow. Who knows? Yeah. Exactly. All right. We got a super chat from our boy BZM. Snagged a buried rope and got slung into a tree. Hashtag RIP Jeff. Recover in peace. Hashtag Jib Trees. Hashtag demo at Snoqualmie next week. It's true. I think it's Wednesday or Friday next week. There's a demo at Summit Snoqualmie outside Seattle. Hashtag spray skiers and mountain safety. Hashtag RIP slash and burn. Let's get this man. Well, next question gets a spin. So let's find one. All right, we'll take this one from Mr. Force 10. Rode the Yonix, uh, Lovarth, L Luvarth, L L L Lovarth, the other day. Loved it. Have you reviewed Yonix? Uh, no. <laughs> no. 
But supposedly they're coming to the U.S., so maybe maybe in the fall we'll get on something. I don't know. We'll see. Want to, right. but, you know, it's tough. Yeah. Uh, right now, I think we've hit a point where I, we cannot physically take on any more products for next year. Um, like, yeah. So yesterday I picked up 13 pieces from the Mervin rep and came back to two boxes from Signal. So I think there's six or seven boards in there. So that's 20 pieces right there. And then there, you grabbed K2 the day before or two days mm -hmm. before. What was that, like eight pieces, 10 pieces, something like that? Something like that. Then Ride sent us 10 snowboards and I think five pairs of bindings. So there's that. Uh, Ampla just shipped three boards. Uh, Nidecker should be showing up while we're live streaming. That's supposed to be five boards and a pair of bindings. Plus whatever we grab next month from the rep. Like... I do know that as of today, I believe you and I are at 65, 66 products done, written, and ridden already. Okay. We've got so much more to do. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's give this man a spin. Oh. We didn't oh, even yeah. read it. Shit my pants at work so I can make it home for the live stream. Hope you're okay, Tracy. Hashtag clean your car. You know who you are. I don't think he's got to worry about cleaning his car. It's going to the scrapyard in the sky. Ugh. Let's give this man a spin. Ouch. Try again. Well, we got over a hundred people. You want to tell them, tell them what happened? Sure. So when I got in, got into Steamboat, we dropped the dog off at the vet because he he had some procedures to get done up there. So that's why we we're up there. Dropped him off. Met up with my buddy Isaiah from P Tools. Went and rode. Went and hiked. Got about three laps in. Was having a really good time. And he goes, "Yeah, dude, great side hits on BC down here." Like, and we're rolling through and they're really big, actually. They're like six, seven feet, like snow banks, just like perfectly side hittable. And I'm watching him just like perfectly hit them all. And I'm like, okay, there's transition. There's good landings. Like it's, it's all ready to go. And I come up on one, like around a bend and I, I'm coming in pretty hot and I see it. And I'm like, that's a perfect one. I see where it like wants to shoot you to the left of the tree. I was like, perfect. Just Ollie, be all good to go. To the right of the tree is just like the run. So if you make, if you miss, you're just going to land flat, whatever. And as I went to pop up on it, the only part of the side hit that wasn't in the sun was just the lip of it. So it was pure ice. And as I'm coming up, it's like on this wall and I'm coming up sideways and I just go to pop and my tail just straight off, like just whiffs. So my board's going on one side of the tree and I'm on the other and it's just like straight to my quad right here. And just like hit it like board out tip just slipped right off and just straight to my leg and it was like halfway up the tree so luckily it wasn't like a giant tree it was probably about that big but uh yeah landed on that my buddy isaiah comes up right behind me and goes oh my god and he's like you good and i'm like i'm fine and then just starts losing his shit laughing and he like helps me get up a little bit and then we like go for like 20 feet and i'm like uh, this hurts and then just like sat down on the snow and he's like are you good do i gotta call ski patrol i was like no never I'll, I'll ride down but yeah flash forward to like two days later from like almost my hip to my knee and then like the whole backside like hamstring area is just like purple and brown now so been riding though road tuesday took yesterday off road today so it's getting better the worst part is definitely the chairlift, I would say, like from it bouncing up and down and like just having my board on that front leg. The thinking about going up the chairlift switch, honestly. <laughs> it's okay. Today I had to tell an old man that he couldn't ride the chair with us because we both had prosthetic legs. Yeah. <laughs> so we both and it looks like legs, I do. Man. We need space. <laughs> it looks like I do when I'm pushing because I'm just like, ugh. Uh, and oh, like not moving my front leg at all it just stays like straight 
Well, I turn myself like, 90 degrees and just push on my heel edge the whole way through. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. The best is like people have been like, are you mad at him for hitting a tree? And I was like, how the fuck can I be mad at him? I was like, I've done it so many times. I'm like, it's just part of the nature of the beast. And they're like, well, you know, he might not be able to review stuff for a while. And I'm like, okay, I'll just have to do more. It's not a big deal. Like shit happens, you know? Yeah. Like, As I was flying through the air, I was definitely like, I'm about to break my femur this is about to be the worst thing ever. And then once I like hit fucked up that tree completely though, like my buddy, he rode past it yesterday and he goes, damn dude, I went past that tree and it's like cocked sideways and like half the limbs are missing off it now. And it's like, it's it a looks Charlie like the Brown tree from, Christmas tree. I was going to say, it looks like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, just like eight feet tall. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it the worst part about it was is I wear like butt pads and it goes down pretty far and it just missed. Like there's a line where the butt pad wasn't and like the hip pad where it just wasn't. It's like really I couldn't have been like a foot more and it would have just absorbed the whole impact. That would have been totally fine. Nothing would have happened. Maybe a sore hip for a little bit, but otherwise it would have been good. But no, I had to hit it where there was no padding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm yeah. sorry. It's just like, the I irony. just think back to when it was just me doing everything and like this shit would take me out for like a week and I'd be so pissed. And now I'm just like, TC's out. I have to ride more product, more product. And I'm like, this is life. This yeah, is I just life. Gotta push through it. I just can't put anything in like that pocket over there. I had my keys in it the other day and I was like, this is excruciating with just like my car keys, like the key fob just bouncing off my leg. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> Otherwise, riding doesn't hurt. Landing hurts. If you land on like if you land in good transition, it's fine. But if you land a little heavy in good transition, then it hurts again. So I'm like, you know. Yeah. It's gonna be one of those things. <laughs> it's life, man. But the C B days has been helping a lot, actually. Good. Like putting that on, it's like, oh, it's nice. Yeah, they're doing a March Madness sale. I mean, we won't get any commission, but I think if you use March Madness, you get 40% off or something like that. That's a good deal. Yeah, that's a really good deal on CBD. <laughs> so, so we're not going to see any money from that, but we'll tell you about it. Yeah, why not? Whatever. <laughs> it's all good. Jeez, no, that, stuff, that stuff is a lifesaver for sure. All right, we got this super chat from our boy, Jack Off B. Currently on my way to Mammoth. Ankle is back in business. Hashtag RIP Jeff's Jeep. Hashtag rest in peace. Hashtag spray slow signs and skiers. Hashtag nerd herd. Hashtag RIP Jeff season. <laughs> Poor Jeff. This is, a, this is definitely a Jeff stream all day. Yeah. RIP to Jeff and his Jeep. Jeff's Jeep does not go beep. It goes... <laughs> Kind right. of Jeep was it? Oh, try again, Cherokee. What year? I don't know. Oh, okay. Because that matters. It's okay. It's two and then we have Jeff. Shout out to Tracy and shout out the guardrail that just ended my season. Yeah, but it saved your life. So that's true. That's let's true. look on the positive note. <laughs> yep. All right. I hope you get better though. Get that glass we, out of your head. We got Tyler hype. Uh, back injury unceremoniously ends my season. Down bad, but stoked on sick days I had, including Cooper's Thirsty Thursday. Looking to Brian Fox for inspiration. I'll be back. Oh, you'll be back. No, no, you have no back right now. That's what, what is Dude, with everybody getting hurt? Like, is it that this whole like past two weeks is just injury season? I'm, I'm just saying that's that's the way it's happened. <laughs> it's the way it's looking. Like everyone's yeah. just getting murdered. And I was like, and we're about to get a march with a lot of snow. I know it. So not going for that one too. Yeah. Oh, a 14 grand share. It's just it. Ah, Tyler, you want yourself a small sticker pack. Email us info at angry snowboarder with your mailing address. We'll TC will drop that in the mail. 
I will. Yeah, so once I get more stamps. Once you get more stamps, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. So, do you need a roll of stamps too? You need domestics? Oh, just just internationals. I got you. Yeah. All right. This is a question for you from Rich Shinizzi. Uh twenty-five yes drive binding similar to the Jones Mercury. Yes. Different yeah. strap. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a you question. We haven't ridden the 25 yet, but I'm assuming based on the catalog and everything, it's going to be pretty similar. Yeah. Like, All right. We got Ben Donaldson snapped a 24 Union Force ankle strap. Warranty claim was simple and painless. Is that pretty typical? I have about 40 days on them. It depends on how you snapped it. I mean, it could be a, it had a bad injection or maybe there was a bubble inside that plastic or it could be some stupid fucking skier stepped on it in the lift line going sideways on their skis and cut it a little. Yeah. I mean, it depends. I'm assuming it's probably on that connect that ankle connector piece. Like, oh, it yeah. It's got that weird hinge. Yeah, I'm assuming it's right. I've seen that happen. I don't know how – I wouldn't call it common, but I wouldn't call it, like, crazy to see happen by any means. Like, yeah, I've seen – especially on super cold days or powder days, I've seen it snap. Yeah. Hey, at least they took care of you. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, those those straps aren't cheap. It's like 75 bucks for two of them or something. So good on them for making it right. Yeah. All right. We got Raul Duke. Bought an Endeavor archetype. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. That board's a fucking sleeper pow slayer, and I keep trying to tell people that. And Endeavor is blowing them. I think they're still blowing them out on their website, like what's left. So, hmm. you know. Oh, next question gets a spin. Uh, all right. Dr. Cramp, if you could ride three boards for the rest of your life, which ones and why? Cheers from Swissy, Swissy Cheese, Swissy Cheese Land. Three boards the rest of my life. Three boards, hmm. that's it. Huh. That's a tough one. Do you already have yours? Mega Merc 157, second year, because it had the better finish on the base. 156 Atomic Hatchet from the second year that they had it, or the third. I'll take that. Unless, unless I can get the limited release one with the horror movie graphic on it, even though they... That was like a super hard one to find. I'd take that. All right. That'd be my park board in there. And then I actually own this, a 159 K2 Travis Parker Scorpicus Nauticus. That would be my half pipe all mountain board. But that thing is fucking narrow. I think the waist on it's like 24.7 or something. Hmm. Really good in the pipe. Okay. <laughs> and it's got the hybrid taper on it and shit. So that's, that's three right there that I would take. Hmm. Uh, I would probably go, Ooh, that's a tough one, but I'd probably go with like the Jones hovercraft for like my power board in the 160. Cause I want it bigger float. Uh, and then I would go the aeronaut. I just hit a tree with just cause that board was really fun for those three runs I got on it. I love that thing. Um, and then what would be like my park for it then? Retox zero. Yeah, that was hey, banana. I was almost thinking the Beyond Metals uh battalion. Oh, there you go. Possibly. I was thinking that one or Super DOA. Michael, the Super DOA, I really enjoy that board. Like the year I have of the all black or the matte black top sheet. Heidi is what I call her. There you go. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. There you go. All right. Let's give this man a spin. Got yourself a small sticker pack. Make sure you email info at angry snowboarder with your mailing address. And remember your zip codes, people. So many people are like 
either don't know how mail works anymore because they don't get it, but half addresses do not work. We need zip codes too. So uh, let's see. Otherwise, I got to play right. detective work, and I'm not a good detective. No, so some random you person. Play could, detective some work, random person could it. get it, or maybe I'm just going to make up a zip code and see where it goes. Oh, even better. All right, yeah, we we'll get Jin, new fans. We got Jin Wang. Avery and TC, can you talk about the candle rain? I'm currently riding a 2022 mountain pig. Is it comparable to that or any other from Capita or Nitro? The closest thing from Nitro would be the Pantera. Yeah. <laughs> the candle rain is not, it, it is, is, is not for most people. It's not. I wrote it. Yeah. It's got like this much camber. This much. Fucking thing will send you to the goddamn moon when you're not even trying. And then when you do really aggressively load up, you're going you're going to Mars. You're gonna beat Elon there. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> that board is stiff as fuck. And the rep hit me up and he goes, By the way, we're actually gonna soften the rain up by 10% for production. And he's <laughs> like, I don't know if that'll affect the review. And I was like, No, it'll still be fucking stiff as fuck. And he goes, <laughs> So then when he picked the boards up from me, he goes, you know. The rain that you rode is like 20% softer than the one that we produced for this year. And I was like, what? <laughs> huh? And it's going to be 10% softer than what I rode? I was like, what the fuck are you people doing over there? Just give Pat more the board he wants and let him just ride that and then make something for the normal people. That's true. <sighs> that board is, carves well. It's very aggressive yeah. on edge. Pulls an edge. A lot of power. A lot of camber. You could really send rollers with it, but fuck that thing. I never want to ride it again. Luckily, you get to ride it next time. That's fine. I and I asked for a 59. It. I was going to ask for the 61. I'm glad I didn't. That thing would have killed me. What is it, 56, 59? Yeah, 56, 6, 59, 61 or something like that. So, uh, okay. yeah, it's that board is... Woo! Hot soup coming through. Should have said that. Maybe the tree would have moved. Should have. <laughs> Stupid tree. All right. So Fizzled asks, I've tried on a shit ton of boots, narrowed it down to three that fit my feet and fit my needs. Oh, you're listening to us. That's amazing. Just curious if there's any difference in materials and construction methods between Solomon and K2. There is. Mm -hmm. uh, the backspine in the K2 will be more durable than the Solomon because they use urethane in it. So it won't crease. So like. So this is this is my old Thraxis. This boot has, I'll say, 150 days on it, and no crease in that back spine at all in there. There's a little bit of wear mark there from the binding, and like a little flex on the top just from the articulated cuff. Uh, in my opinion, these are more durable than a Solomon boot in the long run, and like I I live in these for a third of the year, so. Um, that's my hot take, at least. Ugh. Uh, otherwise, liners, they're definitely going to be different. It depends on which boots you're looking at, too. So this is yeah. the Echo from Solomon. And, yeah, so the foam will be different in the liners. I think the, like, feeling this, this is a softer foam around the articulation points and stuff. These will also have a better heel hold out the box. And they also don't pack out quite as much. See, I think if you go with the lower end K2, it packs out more, but the higher end ones, I don't think they pack out that much. Like, I mean, at 150 days, the boot doesn't owe me anything, you know? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, but pack out is all dependent too. Like if your feet run super hot, you're in the boots eight hours a day, that that's kind of subjective. Uh, the K2s do have a better heat moldable liner though. Like if you put yeah, them on a stack. So. But yeah, I mean, you're kind of splitting hairs realistically. It's just like small little things like, like this Echo. I mean, it's got that rubber back spine in there and you can actually feel that they put some girth to this thing too so i don't know Ugh, all right let's see 
All right. Okay, let's see. All right, uh, let's see. TC, we got to have a chat. You're recommending clue bindings to people in the copper parking lot? Yeah, we got great affiliates for that one. Ah. Uh, use code ANGRY100 to get a free pair of clues. <laughs> And if you use code Gilson sucks, you get two pairs. Uh. Uh, well, let's see. Okay. We've got a super chat from letters. Is the TC diet Taco Bell blow and painkillers now? No painkillers. Just blow? Yeah. Just, just, yeah. just working it up. Painkillers, those things will kill you. Let's take years off your life. Take years off your life. Yeah. They're expensive. Stupid. Just more weed. Yeah. Smoke some weed. <clears throat> Rub it on you. Yeah, That'll right. be fun. Yeah. Ouch, you lose. Suck it, letters. <laughs> All right, Thomas Acosta asks, looking for a dedicated powder board for runs off the backside of Stevens Pass, or as we like to call it, Stevens Ass. Uh, 150 pounds, size 10 boot. What board and size ranges should I be looking at? Thanks. What do you got for him? Hmm. Heavy snow. It's heavy snow. And so the backside is like steep. Flat. <laughs> hmm. That's how it goes. Um, I used to live up there, so I would go. Depends how stiff you really want to go. I'd probably go pretty stiff on that though, if it's that steep, like a like an ultra flagship, honestly, and like a your one fifty. Probably say so like what, honestly, it's the, the fifty eight. I was thinking the sixty one. Like that's what I wrote it in. Yeah. That way, it's not bad to turn. It's gonna give you all the flow no. you need, especially if it's that heavy. It's gonna cut through all of like if anybody else has been out there turning or like throwing. It comes down to two things. If you're gonna go ride the natural half pipe on the backside of Stevens, you want the 58. If you're riding the more wide open, the 61 would be better for you up there. I there would agree go. with you on that one. Yeah. I was thinking go with the 60 wide endeavor archetype. Because you're a size 10, you're going to get that float with it. And it's at 150 pounds, it's going to feel stiff to you, but it's not a stiff board. So that's yeah, kind that's of there. Or I'd say grab a Telos Daros because that comes in a swallowtail too as well. Like it's 60, I think it's 57 or 60. I'd probably just do the 57 in that one. So. Yeah. You can do a deep bake too. Or, yeah. All right, so TJ Todd just wants everyone to know, just got through part one of The Darkest White by Eric Blum. Great book recommendation. We do have a link to it in the description. Um, he's this, Eric Blum is the same guy that wrote Pipes, Parks, and Powder, Todd Richards' autobiography. Great book, too, if you ever get a chance to read it. You can use too, so recommend that. Uh, my copy should be in my post office box today. I probably should walk down and go get that. Um, all right. Luke Postel, which would you choose? The S Typo or the Rome Stolly Cruiser? Thanks for keeping snowboarding alive, even if the season is dead in the Midwest. It's only dead when you decide to stop shredding. I don't care how warm it is. If you can ride that slushy, muddy crap, go do it. Um, so out of those two, I would probably go with the Typo because I think it's more well balanced. That's me. Stolly Cruiser is cool and all, but. I, I I feel like I'm a typo guy as I get older. <laughs> That's fair. Haven't ridden either. <laughs> well, we got to fix that. Oh, yeah. So we'll I did ride the new Stolly Cruiser for next year, and it's different than this year's. It's got a new shape. So, All right. We got Mike Lunkar. Hey, Angry. Endeavor Archetype or Telos Daris for resort riding. Also, Binding Rex. 
please tell me you mean resort powder riding and not just like for all riding because ride i mean the because if that's the case the archetype is going to be the more balanced of the two it'll be better all the way around so yeah so that's that's kind of where we're at with that one you've never ridden either of those have you that's what i thought mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We got Jackie Boy. Basic on ink versus typo differences. One you prefer for all mountain freestyle. So basic on ink is full camber and typo is cam rocker. And then the side cuts are a little different on that. Uh, they're both all mountain freestyle boards, but the basic on ink is true. true is it true twin or is it directional twin? It's true twin. That's true twin. And then the typo is directional twin. So ask yourself if you need setback or if you... Um, need full twin and then the other thing is ask yourself if you want full camber or cam rocker the cam rocker the big difference is the flex between those two and you're going to get more pop from the basic on ink mm -hmm. yeah i think so they do have the setback on it so you can get a power stance as well yeah it does have the slam backs doesn't it mm -hmm. i thought okay uh, we got this one from Jeff Peterson. Looking at the Rome Cleaver bindings, currently riding the Union Atlas. I need more suspension under the foot, but don't want to lose responsiveness with mini discs. Would you still recommend black? No, no one needs the fucking black labels. Like, they nobody are. needs them. <laughs> nobody. Oh I saw a kid riding them yesterday and was like, why do you fucking have those? <sighs> you looking at how bad you ride, you could have had a vice taking the <sighs> money that you saved. And fucking got a lesson to learn how to ride better. <laughs> like, no. Um, so first off, you're not gonna lose responsiveness with the cleaver, even with the mini disc, because it's a full wrap in there. If anything, it's gonna be more responsive than your atlas. You're just gonna have that smaller dead spot underfoot, but that binding has a ton of power to it, I think. And you say you want more suspension, so boom. Mm -hmm. It does have more padding than the Atlas. And if you're really serious about wanting even more padding, you can swap out the Rome foot pads. You go to the Battalion website. The Battalion ones will fit on there. They're a, they're about three or four millimeters thicker. They have more dampening to them. So uh, you can buy those and replace them. They're just $49.99 for a set. So that's why I didn't buy them. It's like oh, 49.99 or 29.99 on the room and they're only like two millimeters difference i can survive uh, uh, all right all right we'll take uh luke shurnowski here's a spin for stickers for jeff r.i.p jeff's jeep <laughs> God, it was so freaking close. <laughs> I want to give Jeff something, but I don't know what. <laughs> Maybe herpes. <laughs> All right, our boy Loop, spin for slim, RIP Ice Coast. Yeah, talking to my mom, it was raining last night. Yeah, I was like, yeesh. She said that her flowers are budding in her garden already. It's like, ouch. They're in Denver too, I've heard. The news is saying today. Hot soup coming through. All right. Okay. We've got Meldoror. Will there be Sims reviews? No. no. Not wasting our time with that one. We uh, we had a nice chat on the chairlift about what brands we were going to actually be able to do. And Sims was one that wasn't going to come up. People have been asking for the season equipment. And we were like, nope. United Shapes, and we we're like, yeah, I don't know who to talk to over there anymore because they got sold. And I was just like, at this point, we literally cannot take anything more on. We will be riding, if we do two products a day, five days a week, from now until the end of April, We that's two products each, so that's four a day. Uh, theoretically, that would be... From now till then, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's like 135 products, 140 something. It's ridiculous. 
This is going to be the biggest year. But on a plus side, we've decided we're actually going to give out awards to boards and findings this yeah. year out of the top fives. The Angry Snowboarder Validation Awards. You've been validated because you bought this. Mm -hmm. And we approve. So. All right. Trailer Park Prodigy, thanks for all your advice and great content. Stoked I'm actually able to tune in to one of these. Dude, we're stoked to have you at one of the live streams. It's always a good time in here. We try to try to keep people entertained. Yep. Hopefully. I mean, there's 156 of you watching us. It'd be cooler if it was like 356. <laughs> Tell your friends, sinners. Ouch. Where's he going? Huh? Click the links. Oh. Click the links. All right. Super chat here from RJ Gould. Any suggestions for a good 20K plus waterproof jacket that's durable? I bought a Volcom Gooch jacket and it fell apart after four days riding. And Volcom said, F your warranty, then said, <laughs> but here's 30 off next time. That's weird. Um, Yuck. Well, the jo well you're, you're a Jones guy. Yeah. And that's, that's 2020. And then, uh, if you do, depending um, on which one you get, yeah. And then if you do like the Theorem line from L1, so I'm a I'm a huge L1 guy. I've been riding L1 for almost 20 years. That stuff, their, their 20k stuff, is technical, and so there's that. Um, 686 has some really good stuff too. In there, I like the Beast jacket as well by uh, Air Blaster, but that's 30 30. But it's the price of 2020, so it's up to you. But it's pretty durable. I know, like people, like my friends, that shit's all reinforced, and they've had theirs for years. So that's a good one too. Um, yeah, a lot of it, I would say, just depending on where you rip it, just see where it really, where you need the reinforcement. I know mine, no matter what jacket is, no matter what brand, it always gets like little tears, like down where the zipper is, like down here, because. I just carry my board right there and it just the edge. If there's a burr on it, it just catches. So yeah, like I said, I'm 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 a big L1. Like almost every jacket I own is L1. And I'm not even talking like new stuff. I will buy vintage. <laughs> I don't yeah. care. I yeah, when's like, the onesie coming out? What's up? Tomorrow? When's the onesie what? coming out? I need to wash it. It came well, with a deep lot enough. of fur on it. If it's deep enough, you should wash it tonight and wear that shit tomorrow. <laughs> it's only going to be like seven, eight inches. That's not enough. Also, that thing is a double XL. It's fucking huge on me. The crotch is like below my knees. That's, that's in style. I'm going to look like I fell out of 2007, and I'm okay with that. But, yeah, that thing is... I need to do... I need to wash a bunch of outerwear this weekend, actually. Like, I was... You know, it's bad when you Febreze it and it doesn't get rid of the stank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Got yourself a jumbo sticker pack. Nice. Make sure you email us info at angry snowboarder.com with your mailing address and TC will get that in the mail to you. Once I re-up them with more jumbo stickers. All right. IK, pointy slash blunt nose, which is better for a pow board? It depends on the pow. Like, if you're running tight trees, I think a pointy nose makes more sense because then, like, you can glance off the tree and it'll float better. But wide open, it comes down to, like, the tip kick, too. So, like... So this is the nitro fin twin. You rode that. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a pointy tip, and we can all see it. But if you actually look from the side profile of it here and you look at that tip kick, it's not, it's more elongated and stuff. And so that has an issue with it, just like so. I got this nitro, nitro slash pointy tip, but very you look at this, and this one's even longer and it's not abrupt. So like it kind of comes down to it. Like when I'm riding something with a blunter shape, I like a more abrupt kick in there. I think that that, and if it's got 3D shaping to it, that's even better because then that'll help funnel it out. What do you think, sir? 
Honestly, the best way I can describe it is think of a cruise ship versus a barge. Like the barge with the flat end. Yeah, like you said before, you do. Do I have anything with the flat? Blunt? Yeah. Kind of. So like with the, hey Griff, watch your head. With the blunted nose, like you have that two points of contact where it just pushes everything like above and where you have the pointy nose, this is kind of pointy. And where you have a pointy nose, what it wants to do is like go to that one, one point here and just like push off it. So you'll notice with the pointy nose, it wants to dip a little easier in and out of the trees, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, like you said, almost a pointy nose for the trees, blunted for the open pow. But I really don't notice that much. I think, honestly, you'll see more aggressive boards with blunter noses than pointy tips, in my opinion. A blunter, a blunted shape is strong, is more durable. Yeah. Well, like, I, I think of it as, like, the, look at the um, mountain, or the mountain pig. Super blunted nose, pretty good kick in it as well, where, yeah, that thing is made for, like, straight up and down, like, terrain that's, like, wide open. Like, not really made for, like, a a tree run or something like that unless you're hauling ass, so. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, like, let's see. So, last week when I, or earlier this week, we had the, we had what we called a fish day. Yeah. She was riding the Solomon fish. I was riding the Stranda mackerel. And so, the fish is more of a blunted off shape than the, the mackerel. It's super pointy. Mm -hmm. And you can see the difference like in our pow lines. Like if I came into flat pow, it was easier to enter and then exit because of the swallowtail. And he had a swallowtail, but he'd have a wider slash path than I would mm -hmm. do. So it the more pow shapes you ride, the more pow you ride, the more you get more accustomed to what the nuances are of that. They're, like in my opinion, there's no wrong like pow shape they just ride slightly different like let's say you do a lot of pow butters you're going to want to ride something like the mackerel fuck no no not even because that tip is so weird when you pop a 180 and do a pow butter on it. but you get into something with more of a blunt shape like let's say a telos daros because that's like blunt you can really pop into it and really lock in and it'll hold and pop you right back out mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. yeah. Ouch. Lose a turn. So just so everyone knows, we're about, oh, I don't know, 28 minutes behind on questions. <laughs> we're in the weeds, like usual. All right. So we got D-Lock 7961. 102 kilograms. That's a big boy. Size 14. But God, you're a fucking Sasquatch. Currently riding a 156 wide twin pig and 159 wide GNU Hyper Kiar Thingo. <laughs> no, it's it's a snowboard. Oh, not a not a Thingo. Twin pig too stiff. Bought the twin to level up switch. However stiff as directional twin or twin suggestions. I mean, you got a size 14. You're a heavy big boy. Here's what I do, man. You want a twin? You want something, you know, that you can play around on that isn't super stiff? Get yourself a 158 Mar Hard Lumberjack. Suck it up because I can tell that the fact that you're measuring yourself in kilograms, you're from a foreign country. Pay the VAT. Pay the friggin' shipping. Get it. You'll thank me if you cannot find that. Then I'm almost say I almost want to say get a spring break powder twin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got the weight to drive that thing in a fifty nine. Totally fine. Yeah, because I'm trying to think. I'm like, it's gonna be wide enough for a fourteen. Tw That's uh, twin resort, resort or powder twin is. Yeah, sure. yeah, exactly. Uh, but like, I mean, I know war pig would, but that has carbon in it. So technically that's stiffer than the twin pig. So like. But it's a flat to rocker profile. So it's easier to engage the tips. It's true. That's true. Yeah. You know, like that's. Instead of having that tiny bit of camber. 
he could probably get away with the Jamie Lynn short walk. Yeah, you could probably do that one. Yeah, so that Jamie Lynn short wide might work. I don't know. Well, okay, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, all right, let's see. All right, uh, we got Beziums. McLongo needs to put on more mass and become McStrongo so the trees break when you hit them. Hashtag eat more Taco Bell. Hashtag bulking season. <laughs> yeah, I should have. <laughs> you got to get the 25 taco box every day and just eat 25 tacos for lunch on our way back from copper. It's like $50, maybe more. <laughs> we'll have to start live streaming four times a week. To support We're going to have to. This is freaking rid ridiculous. Ridiculous. Did you see the comments today from the, uh, um, or not from today, but from yesterday from the slash straight review? Cause I wore that. Mm -mm. Uh, would you buy a snowboard from him with James Beastie shirt? And everyone's like, God, that shirt looks like a trunk. No, that shirt is an XL. That's how much I bulked up that summer before I filmed that thing. And people are like, you look fat. And I was like, no, dude, that's literally muscle mass. Because <laughs> all I was doing was working out six days a week. <laughs> and I was like, which it goes into the whole being McStrongo thing. Like you've seen me just smash a branch and be like, just break it and yeah. keep going. I'm like, that's fine. Things like this big around. I'm just snapping it right off. It's green. I don't care. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's get this man. A Maybe this is the summer you join the gym with me. Maybe I'm going to the good gym though. I want the sauna. I want all of the amenities. Well, you missed the black Friday sale for the rec center. Yeah. But you did rig this question. All right. Okay, so we got Jason Evangelista. Great reviews on the fixed bindings. Thanks, guys. By the way, never hit a tree but snagged a lift line rope. Hashtag spray skiers. We watched a guy two years ago at Thirsty Thursday hit the whole snow fence and shoot it up into the rope toe. Yeah. That was fucking amazing. Yeah. Ugh. But yeah, if you're just getting in, we've got a poll in the chat box. So feel free to answer it. We'll check in on that later. Ooh, coming soon. We've got to update that at some point. All right, we got our boy Loops. I am not dead, just busy with school. You have inspired me to go back to school and pursue an engineering degree so that someday I can design snowboards. Long live angry. Please make really good snowboards. That's all we ask. Stay in school. Make, make good snowboards. Do cool things. Push the limits of technology and progression and shaping. Don't make gimmicky shit. That's all I ask. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's all I ask. But stoked you're going back to school for engineering. We need more snowboard engineers out there. So mm -hmm. that's rad. So. Well, join Angry Snowboarder VIP. This one's for you, sir, from Eric P. What butt pads do you recommend, TC? I use the G-Form ones, and I've had those for four years now. They're like the Burton G-Form ones, and they're like 100 bucks, but they, they last. If you hit something with them, they work, but I missed. <laughs> but yeah, those are the ones I like because they're soft when you sit on them. You don't really feel that you're wearing them. I'll get done at the mountain and like, wear them underneath my ninja suit and my girlfriend will be like, can you just take your shit off? And I'm like, I don't care. Like it's comfy. So yeah, get those ones. Those are the comfy ones. You don't want anything with like a real plastic pad in it. All right. I mean, BCMs wants you to know, good thing you didn't hit your head. You helmetless heathen. <laughs> Actually, no. if I wore a helmet, I probably would have got a concussion from the whiplash. Maybe. <laughs> Try again. And Raul Duke, the turtle butt pad is superior to all others. But only if you get the <laughs> one that looks like, I mean, the one, the one that that's you're like, like I... a whole other human on your back. The one where they have to kick you to get into the gondola. 
Yeah, where you can't actually ride a chairlift because your ass won't be on the lift. That one. Okay. We got this one from Steos2000. Need advice about boots for my son. 13 years old, size 10 in shoes, 100 pounds. Kid boots too small. Men's boots are usually too wide. Are female boots the way to go in order to find a good fit? I mean, depends what his width is because you could probably put him in a size 10 Nitro or Solomon because they run narrower. Solomon doesn't anymore. I thought they still did. Well, anyways, you could put him in a Nitro, but you might have to put him into a women's boot. Yeah, also put him on a measuring device because at that age, kids buy their shoes way too big. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure make sure he's getting fitted properly. Yeah. Yeah. So otherwise try vans as well. They are narrow. Vans are? Yeah. They're narrow when they're that fucking bulky? Yeah. That's a waste of material. Yeah, put your ankle in there and you're gonna hate it. It is the opposite of K2. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. So we got Centauri 2410. Are the Glade Optics goggles legit or trash? They seem Amazon y. Uh, yeah, they're trash. Um, Kurt Nichols is a douche, the owner of the company. <laughs> uh, he's a pompous little jackass. So he claims that he made the goggles in Vermont and then he based the company out of Breck. If you look up their address, it's actually the court, or it's the old. Uh, office for um vale resorts on peak eight mm -hmm. or peak nine like no like their shit their shit i love how their argument is for two hundred dollars you can get this goggle it's like for two hundred dollars i can buy a dragon <laughs> and he's like our goggles are cheaper and they don't guaranteed not to fog and you go look at the reviews goggles fog goggles fog goggles fogged and i'm like yeah All right. Well, let's see. Our boy, Wesley Merkel. I hit a tree and tore my jacket last week. My wife hit a tree and ripped a six-inch hole in her bibs last week, too. Hashtag injury week. Hashtag RIP Jeff's Jeep. RIP to Jeff's Jeep. Oh, I'm sorry, Wes. That sucks. Mine didn't tear. None no. of that shit ripped. Just left a big old tree mark. You got, like, scuff that. marks. You look like you yeah. fell down a rail but was sap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that on. I'm not washing those bibs. That's character. <laughs> All right. Uh the Jihad Joe. Have you guys ridden any season boards? Nope. No. But uh we'll tell you this: they're very prone to delamming. Mm -hmm. Uh, because they sent them on a slow boat from China or Taiwan, and they a lot of them are warped too. Yeah, I saw that quite a bit. When like, I worked at Evo. Save your money, like cool shape. Go buy a fucking nitro instead. Yeah. Because you're probably <laughs> like, you end up wearing cool shape. Go buy something from the quiver line of nitro. Like there's a reason we're not riding those season boards. I was like, they asked us, and I looked at it, I was like, and I asked TC because you know he used to sell them when he worked at Evo, and I was like, I bet you we could break this in the first day of riding it. Yeah. I never actually sold one like based on like, oh, you need this board, guys. Like, no, it was somebody would come in and be like, I want the season boards, and I just be like, okay. Be like, I want this board in this size. Like, okay, sounds good. I'm not gonna fight with you. That's nope, what you want. That's tell what you different. Want. You know what you want. Yep, that's what it is. And yeah. then I'd see them like two months later, and they're like, hey, this thing be lambed on me. I'm like, oh, you want another one? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Like, they're like, like I said, they're warped or twisted. And I'm like, every person that I've ever talked to that has had one on the chairlifts, like, I would never buy one again. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Well, they also make their same snowboard shapes as ski shapes as well. Yeah. So that's, that'll tell you something. Yeah, that's weird. All right. Osiris asks, thoughts on the Yes Lobster Now merger? Kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I like, well, I like the yes and now merger yes. more than anything. The I lobster really should the have merged it back into battalion. Yeah, that should have definitely happened. But 
I guess I kind of get it. We'll see. I don't know. Once until we get the the boards and stuff, I don't really know because I don't really care about the graphics. Whatever. Yeah. As long as they're both made fine. I know their graphics are loud as shit this year, but uh, as long as they're made well, I should be fine. Like whatever. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, they probably should have merged it with Battalion or just put everybody on Battalion from Lobster. But yeah, you know, business stuff, I guess. Yeah. All right. And Hano asks, are you guys going to review any other strand of boards? So I wrote the mackerel on Wednesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. 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 Wrote it on Tuesday with you. And on Monday, I wrote the tree surfer. Uh, there, I've got a descender, a cheater, and a shorty left to ride, and you're going to ride the the B rude, uh, so you know how it rides. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So yeah. All right. And we've got a super chat from Himbo Splice. Prayers up for Baskin Throbbins and his Jeep. <laughs> yeah. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Get yourself a small sticker pack. Make sure you email us info at angry snowboarder.com with your mailing address and we can get that in the mail to you. All right, let's see. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. Jason Robertson, best tree board, peace secret. Nope. Megadeth, nope. Dance all pro, probably. Deep fake, it's good. Jones free cover, nope. Or better suggestion. Like, if you're going to ride trees, why are you looking at hard carving boards? That, like, does not make fucking sense to me. It just doesn't. Like, out of all those, the two that I would only pick would be the Dance All Pro or the Deep Fake. And there's... Ah, uh, I would probably say Peace Seeker as well. Too stiff torsionally when you really get into tight trees. You're just like, you can't whip it around as, yeah, it's smaller, but you're still not. At that point, you're better off going to a super pig because it's got more play oh, torsionally. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's my takeaway on it. I think, though, like, if I was going to go ride trees, I'd do something like that nitro um, slash in the 51 because it's volume shifted. So you could do that. Uh, Tell us backslash is another good one in there. You really want something that you can really torsionally twist and throw around. And if it's got a smaller tail, that's always good too. Like the Orca is actually really good in trees. Like, yeah. It I'd say like a service dog. Yeah. If they're low angle. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. All right. Okay, we got this super chat from our boy Coffin. I've missed the last few weeks. I would like to pay for my sins to Taco Christ. The East season is done. I don't want to talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about it on the East. All we can hope for is that next year it's better for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Cucked. Next person gets a spin. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. We're going to take this one from Eric P. Guys, my liners smell like fucking ass after consecutive warm weather days. How do I fix this? Sorry about your leg, TC. So okay. go get, uh, you want to get one of those oven bags for um, like cooking a turkey in? Throw your liners in it. And just push the air out, twist it, throw it in your freezer, and leave it there for 24 to 48 hours. Then take it out and let it dry. That should kill the bacteria in there. Hmm. I was thinking Gold Bond, but yeah. <laughs> gold Bond is like a shotgun or like a band-aid on a shotgun wound. You've got to kill, like freezing out that in there. The other thing is also make sure like your shelves are dry. And there's no like holes or anything and it's permeating in there because that could also be something too. So yeah. 
Ha! I rigged it. <laughs> All right. Our boy, Pat Zaransky. I'm looking to snag a Rome Freaker. What size should I go with? I'm 170 pounds, size 11. RIP to all the injured homies. Recovery in process. Uh, with the size 11, was it? I think it comes in a 57 wide. I think. I think that's what it is. And at 170, I think that would probably be the way I would go with that is the 157. Because otherwise, was it a 54 wide? 55 wide? I can't remember. You definitely want the wide, though, with the 11s. Mm-hmm. You got nothing. All right. Um, all right. We'll take this one from Tree Burrows 01. Hey, gents, what size do you guys recommend for the new nerd superposition for a 5'10, 195 pound size? 10.5 boots right in the Pacific Northwest. Thanks. Get the 160. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You'll be you'll be stoked. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. <sighs> I like this one from Himbo Slice. Will TC join the Discord at 50K? Sub? Oh, he's always lurking in there. Don't oh, let yeah. him fool you. He's there. Always watching with Oski. All right. Waco asks, did the Yes Standard and the Yes Pick Your Line on Ink change for next season with the Lobster Club? The Pick Your Line on Ink didn't change. And I think the standard still is the standard still in there? I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Hang on. Let me... Let me scroll up here. Oh, God. Let's see. We got the all in, the pick your line, all out, work a uh, pick your line. And then, let's see. Uh, hello, typo, air master. Yes. Standard. Nope. Standard looks exactly the same. So, so there you go. I looked at it. So, all right. <sighs> all right. Let's see. All right. We'll take this one from or Ian. How stiff is the super pig? It's a directional flex, so it's softer from nose to tail. The tail's got some serious spring to it, but I'd say it's slightly above middle of the road. If anything, it's like a low level free ride board. I don't know. So How would you describe mid, it, sir? Mid stiff to stiff. Yeah, kind of. Like, it's not. It's not crazy stiff. Yeah. All right. From Anthony Hawking, is next year's Beyond Metals the same as this year's model? Thinking to sell my Glythe Plus or Camel Two or both to make room for it. ASIM or full wrap? Okay, so if you're talking about the board, it's still the same. I think this year's graphic is better with the skier chick on it. Yeah. But um, personally. Sell that Goliath Plus because it'll overlap with it. You can keep the Camel too. You'll be happy with that for a power board. And then uh, you want an ASIM wrap on that, in my opinion. I don't think you mm -hmm. need full wrap. I don't know. Yeah, you're the one who wrote it last week. so Yeah, ASIM's fine. You don't need a full wrap. Yeah. What did you think of that board? I enjoyed it a lot. It was, it was a lot of fun. It's got really good pop to it. So Safe to say it's your favorite battalion? Yeah, 100%. There you go. It's a battalion I can daily drive. I can not be slightly upset. It's a question mark. We don't know. Did That's that what you get. Feeling? That's what you get. I just threw a pen. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. All right. Peter Dabrowski, after moving to Bend, I finally understand the Mount Flatchler nickname. What do you recommend for the longest, flattest run in heavy pow with some trees? Volume shift. Yeah. You want you want like less length and more width in there. Um, I would say like something like a nitro dinghy. Yeah. Or slash, nitro slash, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe a hovercraft 2.0? Or you would probably you do like 
I would almost go Storm Wolf. Ooh, that'd be a good one. It's got the power yeah. and soil to push off things. Yeah, because when we went through Union Meadows that one day last year, when it was like nuts deep, it was flat as shit. It just kept going. So, like, that's probably what I would do from Jones on that. Otherwise, like, a room service dog would be really fun on that because that'll float for you. Um, What do you think about a Satori? No, because you want something a little more directional instead. I'd say wait and get the Carter instead. So the Carter from Arbor is basically a directional Satori, but it's stiffer in the tail. Like they say that the exact same flex. And I was like, the fuck they are. It's stiffer in the tail. And you, so you can push off the tail to keep your speed in the flats more with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Got a super chat from Scott 1986 Hashtag Lumberjack Crew. Thanks for the demo. Really enjoying mine. Thanks CBDs would help Jeff's Jeep. <laughs> it couldn't hurt. <laughs> just out there just, just slathering it on. Yeah. You're like, this will fix it. It'll fix everything. <laughs> I don't know. Looking at the photo, that's a lot of Bondo and duct tape. Days. Ugh. It did not look good. But uh, yeah, Scott, uh, uh, Scott, there, he, Steven's got, he got to, uh, he came up to Thirsty Thursday and I let him ride my personal lumberjack and then he promptly ordered one that night. <laughs> nice. So that was cool. That's why you should come to Thirsty Thursday. Sometimes you get to ride my personal boards. Mm -hmm. Which somebody's going to get my shadow ban at the end of the season. I'm just going to give it away. So spray skiers, spray skiers. All right, we got Stefano Moto looking to get a new board. Currently riding a 2019 Capita Outer Space Living, looking for something more free ride focused. Have kind of narrowed it down to a K2 Passport or alternator, the full camber nitro, good for pow. It, yeah, they're both solid. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't go wrong with either of those boards. Like, those are very comparable. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, they're. If anything, the Passport might edge it out just a little bit if you're a little more front foot heavy when you ride POW, just because of the camber profile with that rocker. Yeah. yeah. But very yeah. similar. All right. Take this one from Yagal Kamel Math. Trying to get bindings for my wife. I like my Rome Vice and found a good deal on a smaller size. You think the Vice is too much for a beginner? Alternatively, anything wrong with cheap used bindings on eBay? Just make sure all the screws, check all the fucking screws, and then um, like flip the binding over and look at the base and go around and make sure there's no cracks in the discs or anything and the, and the chassis. And otherwise, you'll be fine. A small vice. I mean, yeah, the high back's going to be a little high. That's the only thing that I'd be worried about. But yeah. Um, I think the women's version of the vice is the guild. I think. I think that's what it is. So okay. Then uh Jonathan Karameth wants you to know aspen trees are softer than pine trees, TC. That's good. Yeah. All right. Got a super chat from Adel. Uh, loving my crew auto 161. Thanks for the spot on review. Yeah, they revamp it for next year. It's supposed to have a tweak to the flex, so we've got one coming in. Uh, should be here on the 25th to ride, so, yeah. Fun board, though. I rigged this. All right, Z Smith 815 Can you headspace or the LibTech off-ramp? You're splitting hairs there. You really are. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you like better graphics wise. Yeah. And we got another super chat from a uh, letter spin for Jeff. Hashtag Jeff episode. This is the Jeff episode. Jeff and his Jeep. Much like Jeff's Jeep. You lose a turn. <laughs> didn't make that turn. It hit the guard. Yeah, I didn't make it. That was, that was a good one. That was stupid. 
<laughs> it's a dad joke if ever there was one. That was. All right. Ice Coast with the Super Chat. Similar boards to the Endeavor Live. Hate the channel. Ride Shadow Band is very much up there with it. Um, Spring Break Resort Twin. Um, and I would say like the Nitro Team. Actually, the Team Pro. The Team Pro would be more like the Endeavor Live. I don't know. You never rode the live, so you don't know, right? That's what I thought. No. This isn't blank. All right. We got Rune Tone. Is the ride moderator in the stack of ride boards? Oh, yeah. It's sitting front and center. Might mm -hmm. actually take that out. I got to see how much snow we get tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, technically, I've got to ride Mervin stuff to get it done first. I'm going to ride the Cygnus BM, depending on the snow. <laughs> bowel movement. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. It's a $1,600 bowel movement you got there. Alpine Ibex. Angry is still stocking up on K2 Thrust. I fuck, fuck, I'm down. I'm like, I've got, I've got my current pair. I don't have any backups right now. It's scary. I might be able to cobble like two of my old ones together if I have to. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Uh, all right. And Alan Poonas, Powboard, Pintail versus Swallowtail. I'm a Swallowtail guy. Mm -hmm. Like that. Pintails are really cool in like medium angle uh, pow. Cause like you can kind of just sit on that and surf it, but swallowtail for, because we ride copper and stuff. All right. Oh, we got a good super chat here from Maldoror thoughts on battalion boots. Same as Nidecker. There's things that are similar, but they are different. There is something coming with boots, but we can't say what we're working on because people have lately been stealing ideas from us. So there's something there's something coming and battalion is supposed to give us a boot. So yeah. Oh, try again. All right. Uh, okay. Cole Peppers, hey guys, was listening to an old stream from August and there was a question you wanted to have asked again in 2024. What's a product board that you two disagree on the most? Skate, skate, skate banana? <laughs> yeah, I maybe. I, I don't know. know. I don't know if there's anything that one of us, uh, maybe it, the Solomon Abstract. You didn't love it though. I didn't love it. I didn't think it was a giant piece of shit like you did. I just thought it's it was a, a snowboard. Turd. I just thought it was a snowboard, honestly. I was like, yeah, it's a snowboard. That's cool. Like, whatever. It's a genderly confused snowboard. It doesn't yeah. know if it's for a male or a female. It's just sort of there. It's like, look at me. I got tits and a dick. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was just like, uh, it's. They got board. rid of two really good boards to make a mediocre board. That we can agree on, right? What'd they get rid of? So that was the Gypsy and the Villain. I think they still have the Villain, don't they? Nope. Villain's gone. Hmm. I swear they still have the it's Villain. It's Huck Sleepwalker, and... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's no Villain, and there's no Gypsy. Yeah. It's a Sleepwalker that I'm thinking of then. Yeah. 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 I don't know. That would be the one, I think, that is the most recent for this season so far. Otherwise come, come, come back at, at us back in, in, in May with that question. Yeah. Like, yeah. let us get through the next 130 something snowboards at this point, then we'll be like, huh? Yeah. Cause I haven't reviewed the tweaker yet. So that'll probably be different than Avery's review of the tweaker. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll I see. Know. I'm, I'm having high hopes for the Tweaker Pro. Yeah. I have a feeling that's going to be more my speed. Yeah, I can see that. All right. We got BZMs with a super chat. What power board would you recommend for a six foot three, 242 pound, down 20 this season, size 10.5 boot for steep and low angle trees in the Pacific Northwest? Rest in hashtag rest in Jeeps. <laughs> Poor Jeff's Jeep. 
Uh, I mean, you want steep and low angle. I think the best medium in there is going to be the hovercraft. Yeah. Like that one. But if you want something a little different, I would pick up that Borealis Koi because it's like the old hovercraft shape, but it's a little more lively. That one's good. Um, you could pick up the Slash from Nitro in the 57 or the 60. Mm -hmm. and, because you would probably want to go with the 60, honestly, because you got the girth for it. And that will be, I mean, it's wide, but it's going to give you float. And that's going to be good and steep and flat. Um, trying to think what else. What do you think? What do you think of the mountain pig? I it's been so long since I've ridden the new one. Like I know it's a lot more turnable than the old mountain pig that was like, just go straight and whatever's in your way will move. Like so. I mean, the mountain pig wouldn't be bad. It's just how tight are the trees is my question. If they're not so, super tight. Go for it. But like, if they're like tight, tight trees, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Just because it's more of a, it's a long drawn out waste width on that thing. Uh, so I'm like, maybe yeah. I would, you could go a berserker. But it's not going to be that great in the no, low angle stuff. Boot, that's going to oh, that's not going to work. Sorry, that's not going to work. And it's going to be tight, yeah, because my ten barely fits on that boot on that board. Maybe an antidote from K two. Yeah, you probably could. You know, like what about a broadcast from K two? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that board, but me either. It's there. Yeah. It's one of those there. snowboards I look at it and I'm like, oh, it exists. Huh. Yeah. Deep fake would probably be good. Yeah. Like, actually, honestly. Yeah. That would not yeah, be bad. go with the deep fake. That'd be better than the pig, I bet. The yeah. mountain pig. Oh, my dog's barking. It means they probably pack. dropped off the Nidecker stuff. <laughs> How's an excavator on steep? It's actually pretty good. That wouldn't be a bad option either. I was just thinking yeah. that. Like the excavator, or uh, get the morning glory from Amplit because it comes in a 160 and it's wide and it's so you could do it. Um, so you could go with that too. Like, there's so many, so many options out there. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Power Reaper. Yeah. Such a weird board though. Like it I is a weird it. board, but it does excel at low angle pow. Yeah. And so that would that could be that could be a good one too. Yeah. All right, let's get this mess. Nice. Oop, try again. Dun, dun, dun. And our boy letters. Don't forget to feed TC hashtag Del Taco's better than Taco Bell. Del Taco yeah, got there. closed down for a while for serving horse meat. <laughs> By better, it's got real meat. Horse meat. That's like right. one step above like glue. <laughs> <laughs> you never ate Elmer's glue as a kid? I didn't, but I knew a lot of people that did. Uh, try again. Uh, yeah. I like this one from Adam Rositer. Been a second, came to check in on TC's blouse, but I'm finding myself mesmerized by the hair. I'm talking about you, Avery. I see those dirty little locks poking out the back of that beanie dog. <laughs> That's right. Full on skull it, dude. Yeah, have a comb forward helmet hair. All right, we got Zamergi JWT family trip next week to Keystone. Rad dadding all over your face. Watch for the yellow pants and black Benetech hoodie. Hashtag eat more birds. We don't ride Keystone. You're <laughs> like, you're on your own, buddy. <laughs> we'll be at Copper. Yeah, yeah, we don't do other the side other. of the county. Yeah, other side of the county, but be safe over there.
Make sure you keep you keep your eye on your kids' hands. You don't want them to find one of Buck House's guns. <laughs> Cooked. Next person get ask a question. All right, we'll take this one from Ali Zacharon. How do I trick my future cousin-in-law to go into the park? Candy. Lots of candy. All the candy. And if they're of legal drinking age, shooters. Yep. <laughs> and candy. Yep. A couple shooters. Be like, come on, you can just roll through, and then they'll see something, and then you you find something. Be like. You can hit that. No worries. Like, that'll be fine. You stand at the end of the box and you just be like, if you do this, you get this. Yeah. Or you give it to them before and then make them do it after. Yeah. A little liquid courage. Yeah. Or you tell them that you're kicking them out of the family. Yeah. Tell my brother made me hit a jump my first time <laughs> snowboarding with him. He basically told me that if I didn't hit the jump, I couldn't get a ride home. And he said I had to go straight. I wasn't allowed to speed check. So I went as fast as I could, and I took it all the way to the bottom and rode out. And he promptly went home and told my mom and dad he'd never snowboard with me again because I was better than him already. Uh-huh. He's like, he's already naturally better than me. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, it's all that skateboarding. It paid off. <laughs> so, yeah, that was funny. Click those links. All right. We got B Kooky with the super chat. I have a Rome party mod 157 wide. Any big benefits to switch to a rad dad board? Maybe something wide with similar steering, but bust through chop better. I mean, if you're just looking for something like that, why don't you just get a free ride board and have it complement your party mod? Like, you know, at that point, you want to go to something like ride deep Real fitting big. flagship, you know. Mm-hmm. Something I was like, looking at the Rome Ravine if you're looking rad, Dad. If you stick with Rome, yeah, go with the – well, Ravine Select because then you get the flex impact plates. Yeah. But And uh, and that board, I think at the 58, it's like 26 wide, and it starts to go wider. So mm-hmm. from there, um, let's see. Could go volume shifted, I guess. Go for like a super pig. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I don't know. Do that. You got options. It's okay. I'm a little fried. I'm not going to lie. I just want to eat my pizza after this. Yeah, First, that's fair. I got a Colleen's frozen pizza calling my name. I had to import it across state lines. I'm going to eat the shit out of that thing tonight. <laughs> lose a turn that's rough all right zuzu 76 feel your pain hit a patch of east coast ice and wipe so hard snap that little connecting strap on my supermatics bounced my dome hard didn't die damn survived. yeah yeah head injuries suck i've had too many yeah This isn't blank. All right. Okay. I'm going to take this one from Mike B. Is the DLAM warping from the boat transportation the same thing happening with Arbor people keep complaining about in reviews? Or what's the story there? And why don't you hear about it on the Jones? It's the it's the die cut on the Shiloh is so big and so abrupt that the way the board flexes with the camber profile it and the way the epoxy settled it basically separates the uh, the fucking the die cut and then it catches just a little bit and then it just banana peels it. That's what's going on with that arbor board and that's why it's gone from the line next year. And mm-hmm. there was also some quality control issues because I'm pretty sure the brand manager for Arbor was not doing his job like he was supposed to. And Matt Patty is back at Arbor and that dude is amazing. Like when he worked for Arbor, their shit was just so much better. That was like, he worked there at a time when I think I owned like eight of their boards. Cause I was just like, and I'll just take another one. And I'll just take another one. 
because they were solid. So it's completely different because they're they're also made in two different factories. Because you're talking about the season equipment. The season equipment stuff is made in Taiwan at Playmaker. And I don't think they have anyone on the ground checking quality control. So they're just firing shit through. So yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Aaron Barella, if I'm trying to save money and not buy new boots, what's a good company that makes aftermarket liners for Vans boots? Should I just bite the bullet and buy new? If you're talking about replacing a whole liner, yeah. Just just buy a new one. Yeah, because the liner is going to be three quarters of what a boot costs pretty yep. much. So, And here's the thing. There is a ton of sales about to hit. And so like we just picked up two new affiliates last week. We picked up Tactic, or we picked up Tactics this week, and we picked up Blower last week. Those guys are sitting on a ton of clothes uh, stuff that they're already marking down 20%, and it's only going to mark down more. Evo's got stuff marked down. Christie Sports has stuff marked down. Like the sales are going to be horrendously awesome this year because so much shit did not sell during the season. So like yep. if you start looking around, you know your size, you know what you want, you're going to probably be able to pick a boot up. Like if you buy it this week, 20, I've seen stuff 20 to 40% off. But if you like, if you're shopping next month or something, I'm going to bet 40 to 60% off. You're going to see stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, stress type four, asking for a friend, 6'3", 210 pounds, 29 boots, which is an 11, Solomon Dance Hall, 54, 57, intermediate to advanced rider with the ample data work too, never hit a tree, just chopped a pull of a peace sign in two. The data is way softer than the dance hall. Way softer. And he's saying he's an intermediate to advanced rider. I'd say get the 54. Hmm intermediate yeah i was just thinking weight and size he's got leverage being six three two eleven boot but i'd say intermediate 54 is the safe bet unless he really wants to charge then go to the 57 so. he can advance into the 57 yeah so think of it that way if he wants to get better go more towards that advanced rider go with the 57 if he likes where he's at and he likes hanging out go with the 54 Boom. All right. Oh, let's see. Where are we? Oh, oh, bounced out. This isn't blank. This isn't blank. All right. Our boy Ruff, Truck Pacifico gang. Hell yeah. Gang, gang. I like how it's even. Pacifico like is an official sponsor of Mountain of the Dew Tour. It is, and I we got to figure out who to talk to. Yeah, but I like how even his super chat is Pacifico Yellow. <laughs> Did that purpose purposely? We yeah, know he's like, I got to give nine ninety nine because it comes in Pacifico Yellow. Yeah, but we got the coming soon. Oh, so close! And then he follows it back up with another super chat. What brand do you? Give the best graphics to for 2025 catalog. Capita for me. So the funny thing is we're actually going to have a top five graphics, but TC and I are not doing it. Ben, the editor, is because he has to stare at these fucking things so often. So he's yep. going to handle that whole thing. So we actually have that coming. <clears throat> you know? Like, that's that's. Cap I mean, you're not wrong there. Capita does have some really good graphics for next year. Otherwise, the they did. Stuff looks pretty good. I like the Jones stuff. The bases on their Mind Expander line, like that whole Surf Series line, looks so sick. Um, same with like the cheetah print on the bottom of the uh, Free Carver. Otherwise, Arbor's pretty good looking. I think that's pretty classic. Um, well, they just went with black ash top sheets with orange tips. They look like penises. Those ones do. But like the metal machine and all the shit I rode, like well, the metal well, machine's a pro great. model. Yeah, he did a good job. He did. <laughs> he did, uh, and like I don't know, just looking at the catalog, I think so. Um, what else? Solomon is sick. I do like Solomon's a lot. Like the Assassin and Assassin Pro. I like oh, the dude. direction they went with that. That's dope. 
And those um, boards, those are the best two versions of those boards to date. Like they really revamped them. They ride so much better. And like their whole hillside project also has like that whole like theme to it with white and alien come all over it, which looks sick. I think in my opinion, uh, is it alien come or did Eli just get excited? I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> Recycled alien come in the sidewalls now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. K2 doesn't have a bad look to it, I'd say. It looks like someone spray-painted the boards, which isn't bad, in my opinion. The uh, excavator looks very uh, Vietnam-esque, I would say. This graphic fucks hard. That does, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cheap thrills from great. Nitro Yeah, I with do the like freaking that Corvette and the little hand yeah. drawing. The guy's like spraying fire from a thing yeah that one's good and it's like cool. you know you got the base like there's a lot of synth wave inspired graphics this year i noticed yeah so i mean yeah the lip has got some pretty good graphics this year too i think I depending on which model today oh my god that board was amazing yeah that was pretty sweet i like the mayhem collabs that they do too like that's cool shit yeah so yeah I don't what know. Everybody's say? got good stuff. Like, ben, ben, the editor, is going to be the... You're going to get a random top five with <laughs> either of us in it and just Ben and be like, hi, I'm the editor. <laughs> yep, I can't wait for that, too. Be like, see, Ben, it's not that easy, bud. <laughs> sitting there. You, oh, you get, you're going to sit in the room and yell at him? Be like, yeah. do it better. <laughs> Talk longer. Yeah. Make it five Elab minutes long. Yep. Give him the loading right now. But that'll be fun, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh, I'll bring Taco Bell for the squad that day. You two can eat it. And I'm just going to sit there and <laughs> stare at it and be like, gross. It's going to smell like Taco Bell in that studio for like three weeks after that. <laughs> no, it won't. Because I'll fucking light this candle right here. It's got a heavy smell to it. It sits in the carpet. Uh -uh. I will light the shit out of this candle for my friend Chris's candle company. That's so. not Uma Thurman's? Or no. Not Brent, Brent Candles. It? It's my friend okay. Chris's candle company. For anyone that wants to support a guy that actually rips as a snowboarder and makes candles, go to brettcandles.com and uh, order, order some candles from my boy Chris. And, and tell, tell him Aver, Uncle Avery sent you. He'll know. He'll know. But yeah, Chris is, Chris is rad. Just an OG wreck head for years so all right let's give this man another spin oh where's it going oh cucked next person gets a spin which goes to richie trick seven is the hype reel on the 2024 k2 alchemist yes yeah, I mean, I I love that board, and I think it's better now that they've kind of like put a 3D in the top sheet a little bit there, like it's yeah. a little bit more stable in the nose. It doesn't not like you felt like a bunch of chatter before, but like definitely more stable holds that front foot. So when you throw that front it front foot edge in more, it definitely grips really well. It's worth it. Yeah, especially if it's on sale right now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Let's give this man a spin. <laughs> Click the links. Click the links. All right. We got Tedrick uh, Rumar. Red Shadow Banner, Battalion Goliath. Do you want 3BT? Then you're getting the Goliath. Don't want 3BT? You're getting the Shadow Ban. Goliath yeah. is a little stiffer than the Shadow Ban. Um, but the, And you need to know that the Shadow Ban breaks in at about 25 days and then gets progressively softer from there. Um, but I think the pop is better on the Shadow Ban than the Goliath. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It's okay. Shadow band graphic for next year fucks. Yeah. Skulls. It does. Skulls. It does. Yeah. I had to think. I was like, huh. I just I was looking at the catalog yesterday. I was like, oh, yeah. I like all of Ride's graphics next year, too. They gave Banks uh, creative yeah. control on that. 
Pat so. Zeransky and I were talking yesterday and it was like, you know, throw some skulls on it, maybe some boobies, some camouflage, black and red. And I was like, yeah, everything I liked when I was a kid is just like in style now. I'm like, this is fucking great. Prolonged adolescence. I'm a man. You can't child. put the boobs on it anymore. They kind of, they canceled boobs and snowboarding, but. Nope. I will draw titties on every goddamn snowboard if I have to. I, can do, I mean, Ride, what was it? Ride did that three years ago on the Saturday. They put a three boobed lady on it on a women's board. And I, I remember everybody being like, what the hell is that? Like, I don't know what they were thinking there, but. Total recall, was, three boobs. Yeah, I know. But I was like, I don't know what they were thinking there, but okay. Like, I could have seen it on a guy's board, but. I don't know. I don't know. Got yourself a small sticker pack, sir. Make sure you email us info at angry snowboarder.com. And we'll get that in the mail to you. So, all right. Steve Kettler, looking at a rod deep fake. Could I swap my now select pros onto it with the hard bushings or should I grab something stiffer? I think that's You'll be fine. fine. You'll be yeah. fine. I don't even know. You don't even have to put the hard bushings. bushings. Yeah, you don't no, even have like, to do that. That board isn't as stiff as people think it is. Like when you start riding it, you're like, oh, this is actually like it's damp. And it'll bust through crust, but it's like it flexes really well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Kyle Allen, what would you recommend for a fat old man carving board? 5'10, 240 pounds. Karua Cafe Racer Plus. There yeah. you go. Yeah, just going right to it. Uh, other uh, other option would be a Nitro Pantera. That board fucks. Uh, you could do an Arbor Annex. But I would honestly say wait till next year because they've got some better stuff coming out. But yeah, Korea Cafe Racer Plus. That's, that's where I would go. You wouldn't say like a Free Carver 9? Free Carver 9, sure, in the bigger size. Yeah, yeah I mean, because he's 240. 240 like, yeah you want the bigger size and that that's uh that board fucks too i read that the other day too yeah that thing's solid um you could go with the bigger peace seeker too yeah like the big because what is that 55 58 something like that it's 55 the biggest i always feel like there's one that's bigger no there's a bigger one okay that's what you want is the biggest one the bigger one that they yeah, made. i thought it was 50 457 something like there when it's 51 55 i know that much so it's 58 59 maybe then yeah so that one would be good uh amplid pentaquark that'd be another one to consider um i want to recommend it but i haven't ridden it yet the stranded cheater in the 170 you could do a k2 alchemist that board carves. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a few options for you. Yeah. Oh, got yourself a small sticker pack, sir. Email us info at angry snowboarder.com. And uh, yeah, make sure you put that address in there. All right. We got Risk Hero. What's the use case for full wrap versus ASIM wrap in regards to Roman battalion bindings? Or is ASIM just better unless you are hard charging? ASIM wrap gives you more lateral play in the binding. So, like if you're doing more freestyle and stuff, you can do it. When you go to a full wrap, you're going to get more power and lateral drive out of the binding. So, like, so basically when you're carving and you've disengaged the front foot and you're on your back foot and you push into the center and then you push back on the tail to really root the carve, you're going to get more power and response out of it. That's really the big difference between the two. Like 
me personally, I'm like, I like ASIM wrap because I like to have that lateral play in there. But when I get on a full wrap every now and then I'm like, I need this. I need this in my yeah. life. And that that's, I mean, you've ridden ASIM wrap and full wrap. What's your take? I mean, yeah, pretty much just lateral play to the outside. Like otherwise, like with that full wrap, you just feel locked into the board. Like you and the board are one. So do you like a little bit of lateral play or do you want to just feel super locked in to the board? That's, it's pretty much what it comes down to. Like you get the same amount of heel toe drive, but it's just like that side to side. Like, do you like to press more or do you want to like pretty much go full charging mode the whole time? <sighs> yeah. I mean, it, it, a lot of it's personal preference too. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's it. Like, so it's funny. Cause I remember the first year Rome made bindings and, they basically were full wrap. That's what they were. They were the 390. They weren't even the 390 bus. They were the 390s and I had them. And it was like the full wrap on that basically. And then, you know, I've kind of gone back and forth because for a while there I had other, I had 390 bosses. And then, you know, I kind of fell into the black labels by accident. They were just, they were cheap. Like the rep sold them to me for cheap. He was like, I need to get rid of these. And he's like, it's $180 a pair or whatever. And I was like, I'll take both. And he's like, what? I was like, I'll just take both right now. I just don't even care. I was like, I was just going to buy some Rome vices, but I was like, 180 bucks. Fuck it. I'll take them. I don't care. And then here I am now, five pairs later. <laughs> so, okay. All right. We got. Eva Han, I was trying on a heap of boots that fit my feet and fit my needs. I like to feel the Nitro team. However, it's so much lighter than what I'm coming off of. I wonder, do they last? Heavy boots do not necessarily equate to quality. It just means that they're using heavy materials. And a lot yeah. of that is usually older materials or they're using a lot of rubber in the sole or uh, urethane or whatever the hell it is. Not urethane, but like... You know, they'll be using heavier leathers and stuff in there, maybe plastics for the back spine, stuff like that. Lighter boots tend to actually have like more space age materials like the Thraxis. I mean, this is all urethane right here. This boot with, with the Vibram sole and everything, it's light as shit. Like if I pick up a Vans that's in the same category, I'm like, there's like a two pound difference. I can feel it. The good thing is after you wear a boot for a while, you don't notice the difference in the weight because you just your body gets accustomed to it. But right away, when you go from a heavy boot to a light boot, you're going to be like, holy shit. This is um, you're going to you're going to be like, wow, this is a world of difference. So. So, yeah, I don't know. You got anything to add, sir? No. OK, well, you covered it. Bad. Yeah, he covered that. All right. We got Melvin Del Rosario. Validation Thursday, 162 Jones Mind Expander, 220 pounds, 10 boots for that once a year cement here in SoCal. Give this man validation, TC. Tell him what yeah. he needs to hear. I mean, that's a great setup. 62 Mind Expander for 220, size 10. You'll be fine. Like, you did it. You should be getting snow, hopefully, but, you know, good grip still. Nice cruiser. Like, yeah, you're chilling. You're not breaking any speed records on that board, but you're hanging out. You're buttering around. You're surfing the mountain. Why not? Validation. Yeah, validation. You've been validated. <laughs> All right. We got Stu Hain. Uh, How much did the battalion surfer change with the new tail? Better, worse, or gimmick? Oh, that board is – that board slaps. It's softer though. That's the one thing I noticed was the surfer got softer, but that board rides so different now. Like Michael Chilton did wonders to that board. I missed the old one because it could crust bust easier, but that thing, that thing will surf. That will surf well. Uh, okay, let's see. muffins really wanting a 2023 mountain pig they are half off so about time to snack consume yep. click the yeah. links buy one i mean if it's 50 percent off yeah you should definitely buy one because that's a that's a sick board
Then our boy Josiah just got back from shredding Steamboat. Checked out Potter Tools. Real cool shop, but they didn't have any beanies with their logo. Big sad. Got to get them early, man. Yeah. They had sweatshirts and t-shirts. I know that because I was just there on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, right. but they're probably out of beanies at this point, honestly. Yeah, this late in the season for them. Yeah. Yeah. Wallaby Z360, are you guys riding the 25 Publix? If Lufkin will ever give them to us. Later, I would imagine. That could be one. Yeah, I think those are spring. a next month board for us. Like, there's just. Yeah. You know, we got too much shit in our hands right now. So I mean, we don't. <laughs> We don't need it now that we're getting snow. We don't need those boards at the moment. So it's yeah. like one of those things that we're going to try to get to them. But that's one of those things that gets kind of put on the back burner a little bit until. Because yeah. currently I have 30 something boards in my room right now. In my, you have in my 30? office. I think so. I got seven right there. I got one right here. Eight. There's eight back there. And then there's 12. Yeah, so if you got 30, I've probably got about 60 in my place. Yeah, Plus, something like that. Probably got about another 20 pairs of bindings. Yeah. Yeah, Ride sent the box of bindings, and I opened it up, and there was two that were in, like, new boxes, and then there was just this cobbled-together pile that they're all in. Like, I swear to God, Frazier connected them all together and then threw them in the box. So it's not hey, like you gotta save space. I'm pulling out, like, a ball of bindings. <laughs> yeah. You know how expensive shipping is now. So if we don't need the boxes, just, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about that. I just find it hilarious that Frazier took the time to combine them into a ball. I like He's that. He's like, ha I got you, fucker. And I'm like, God damn it, you little asshole. Is there an ice in the middle of it? Oh, God, is there? I didn't even look. I don't know. I know Frazier really doesn't drink, but uh, that would be, I'd take an ice for him. That would be funny. That would That'd be really funny. All right, we got Eric Chen with the super chat. Chip tips on getting boots. Uh, left foot nine point five and the right foot's a ten. Currently on a K two Orton and Vans versus with Ramon. Left big toe is banging, <laughs> riding regular. Thanks. Uh, so what you want to do? Pull out your right foot, but if it's bang or your left big toe, if that's the one that's banging, right? Get a belt sander. Fire it up. Take the footbed and hold it from the back of the heel. Put the toe on the edge of the belt sander and pull back a few times as it's going and plane that down just a little bit. That will change the whole feel on your big toe and you'll be fine. <laughs> if you can't do um, that, order a heel wedge and put it under the footbed and that'll elevate it up and pull down the pressure on it a little bit too. I'm Keep confused. Holding. So is he riding two different boots at the same time because he's got two different size feet? Or are those just the two? He changes those between are the two. I, I'm going with those are the two boots because I hope to God he's not riding two different boots. Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, I tips for getting your boots, I would say you definitely have to size down to your smaller foot. And, like, having a half-size difference isn't that crazy. No, like, I've got normally, a full-size difference. I'm a 9 yeah. and 3 fourths and a 10 and 3 fourths, and I wear a size 10. Yeah, so they will pack out. It's just uncomfortable for like fifteen to twenty days. You just gotta heat mold it, honestly. Heat mold yeah. one, probably don't heat mold the other one. Size yeah. to that smaller foot, heat mold the right foot, push it out. No, it's and that should foot. or the right foot's a size ten. You yeah, you're right. The right foot's the size ten. Yeah, yeah. So you want to size it to the you actually. Sorry, yeah, that was – yeah, you want to size but, it to the smaller foot. You always want to try to size it to the smaller foot if you can do that. And that's why I'm guessing he's getting toe bang. It's just sliding right. forward. Yeah. So you The, other, size the other thing to do would be get a Bontex board and put it under that left footbed. That'll raise you up about two millimeters, and that'll suck up some of the volume in there too. So Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, because like, you know, if, if the – yeah. Sorry, I misread that. Yeah, so in the situation he's in there, a bond text board should fix that. So oh, he's asking an Orton or a verse. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I just saw his thing. It says Orton or verse LOL. Well. Yeah, I mean, you know, just size to the smaller foot. <laughs> yeah. 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 The verse is probably gonna pack out more than the Orton. 
man's boots get pretty big because they have a lot of foam and your or and uh neoprene yeah next question gets a spin let's find something here uh from Mike B, what do you guys get into during the offseason when there's no snow and you aren't consumed testing gear? Gym, concerts, skate, surf, hashtag spring, hashtag summer, hashtag save the birds. Well, our season will end in the end of May, probably. <laughs> yeah. So that's June, July, August, September, and then October we're riding again. Yeah. So June will be literally filming all the top fives for the year for all the hard goods. July, we'll be working on a few other projects that we've got. Basically, just so everyone knows, like the way the reason we're pushing so hard for more reviews this year and everything, we're going to start launching more content series for you guys. This summer, we'll be filming a lot of that, and that's what we'll be working on. So, even though we're not riding product, we're still working on stuff, but we're trying to get to a point where we will be nine months to a full year ahead on all content coming out. And so there's that, but like, yeah, we're not riding. I mean, I go to the gym like five, six times a week in the summer for an hour or two every day. I take my dog out of trainer. I keep saying I'm going to go skateboarding, but I never do. <laughs> I skate, play golf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. The TC will skate. I go to happy hour a lot. I hang out on the patio. I heckle tourists. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I mean, May, I'm driving back to see my parents because Christmas was such a shit show with dad getting COVID. So I'm going to go back and see him. And uh, hopefully my grandmother will still be alive when I get back there because she's 96. She should be she'll be almost 97 when I get back. So I want to see her. She's losing it. So, yeah. And, uh, which little known fact, my grandmother was Marilyn Monroe's body double. <laughs> That's hot. You fap into my grandma? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> 1955 body grandma. double yet. <laughs> <laughs> From the front or the back? I don't know. No, yeah. sorry. That's your grandma. Say hi to her for me. <laughs> Oof! This isn't blank. All right, let's see. Well, we got Mulder looking for a spin, so we'll just give a spin. <laughs> oh. Try again. And Ruff asks, can I get a stale Gamer Goose slash Jeff's front seat trash candle? <laughs> You can go figure out wherever they towed the Jeep to and get whatever you want out of there. <laughs> Evidently, he I, I didn't see the picture, but I guess his front seat was just full trash <laughs> from door dashing. Jesus. Like from driving door dash or from getting door dash? Dri delivering door dash. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Poor Jeff. Hopefully I was like, who door dash? Like, yeah, we don't need to get into it, but yeah. It's a question mark. I don't know what that means. Nobody does. Nobody does. It doesn't mean anything anymore. We got Mulderer again. Which boot brand runs the widest besides the obvious wide models? Deluxe, 32, tend to run wider. Some of the K2. bird ones. Certain K2s. The Thraxis yeah. isn't wide. You would be surprised. But like I know the Orton runs wide, but like the the Mesa like, does as well. Well, they have the Mesa wide. Yeah, they also the regular Mesa also fits wider. It's not that wide. This is why we're doing this new boot series. But I like, mean... oh, the Flux boots run wide. Those things are fucking huge. They're like. Ugh. Yeah. Hoya. Yeah. Don't give me that look. I'm just saying. <laughs> they fucking fit wide, dude. 
What's your definition of wide? Like mine if is you like triple E. Foot, you're getting that boot. Like if you're a C width, you're average. Yeah. When you start to get into and the D width, that's when it gets wider. Yeah, and that's when you put them in a K2 because they don't fit in the, the lasso. So you put them in the, the Mesas, and then if they really need, if they got like a little bit more, you can push it out or you get them in the wide. But normally that or like a dialogue is pretty wide now. Like Solomon fits wider in the, the front of the foot for sure. Like they have yeah, changed they all their fits. The big thing, if you're looking for like crazy wide, try to find the Burton J- Japan boots. Those yeah. things are like, like goddamn platypus foot. Yeah, but otherwise, Burton for their wide series, they just thin the liner out, so they don't actually make the shells different. They just stitch it differently. So keep that in mind. All right, Zamergi JWT. Props to TC on the slash Happy Place review. Finally looking relaxed. It's only because I yelled at him for a half hour before we filmed it. I don't even remember filming that review. <laughs> that was so long ago. When did we film that? November? December? I no, we remember. filmed that back in June or May. Is when no, I wrote those we the happy place you didn't ride till the fall. Really? Uh-huh. I thought I wrote all of the Slash stuff at the same time. Or maybe you did. Maybe you did ride that last May. That's what I thought. I don't know, though. But then we filmed, I remember oh, riding. That's right. You rode the old one because they didn't send us the right graphics. And we had to wait yeah. for the rep to give us the graphics to film it with. Yeah. They're like, nothing's yeah. changed. Because they didn't want to admit that their warehouse had started on fire. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole thing. Yeah, that's how that went. I was like, there was something weird about the Slack stuff that I don't remember. But I remember liking that board. Yeah, no, that's what you said in the review. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Let's see where the poll's at. Let's finish this up. So, all right. We're going to end that poll. See what we got here. Have you ever hit a tree? We had 283 votes. 61% have said yes. See? 20% said no. 12% no, just stupid skiers. And five uh, percent went from the top rope like you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. <laughs> You're about. not alone. You're gonna do it. Do it big. You know. Right. <laughs> also, the higher up you hit on the tree, the thinner it is in theory, so it shouldn't be as bad. Yeah. Keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mike T. Binding wreck for the Endeavor Live. So, I would do. You just want like I would do like a Union Force. A now select pro or a Jones Mercury, and I would do like a Rome Katana. Boom. There you go. There's Boom. four right there. And I think all of them are on there sale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Conversely, I'll throw the Nitro team on that as well. Give you five. Ah, well, Mike, you won yourself a small sticker pack. This will make it faster than the snowboard. So. Uh. Which, ironically, I found a couple packages that didn't make it out from Black Friday. <laughs> it's like, oops, got to get those out this week. Uh, okay, we got the Jihad Joe. Did you guys ride the K2 Almanac? What did you think? Didn't ride it, but it's literally sitting in the hallway right now. It's on the list. So, All right. Michael Mega X. Hey, guys, I found a small crack in the chassis of my Strat on the left ankle strap screw area. Worth the warranty or no big deal? Only a year old warranty. It. They've got that lifetime warranty. Go hit them up. Yeah. Right. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So warranty. they'll send you two new chassis, I believe. Yeah, they'll so probably just send you like new base. You'll be fine. Yep. Ooh, ouch! Lose a turn. Uh. All right, Dylan116, what would you recommend for a wide, soft, flexing park board, size 13 boots? Nitro Cheap Thrills comes in a wide. The Solomon Sleepwalker comes in a wide. The K2 Geometric comes in a wide. Uh, Ride Kink comes in a wide. Rome Artifact comes in a wide. Uh, What am I missing here? I feel like I'm missing something. 
Does the disaster come in a wide? Yes. By battalion? Yeah. There you go. It's a 52 Bam. Wide. Soft as baby shit. Yeah. There's that. Um, oh, Ultra Fear Wide from Capita. Yep. Um, that one's also very soft. Like, Yeah. You got options, dude. Also, Sneaky Pow Board. Yeah. Like, that part's really fun in the pow. <laughs> Speaking of pointed noses. Okay. Uh, we got Aiden Callahan. Have a Solomon Super 8. Was looking for something I could charge more with. Was thinking the Black Snowbird of Death from Capita or the Ride Deep Fake. Either of those are solid. The Black Snowbird to Death is stiffer and more aggressive than the Deep Fake, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's see. I like this one from Trailer Park Prodigy. Laughing my ass off. Clue has comments disabled on their YouTube shorts ads. I'm dying. Good work. <laughs> that review did some damage. <laughs> like a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Still in our top five for uh, most Oh, that's a, that is the video that keeps on giving. Yeah, that one just keeps getting views. Like... At weeks past, you're like, oh, that's still that's number two this week. You're like, okay, oh, whatever. <laughs> Love that. It's okay. I still uh I think the next one that I want to do like that is I think I'm gonna have to go drive down to Colorado Springs to the Shields because I think they sell Gilson. And I'm gonna have to go buy a Gilson, bring it up because someone in the Discord measured their board, like insert to the edge, and there was like I quarter or three or yeah it was like a quarter to a half centimeter difference from one edge to the other because that's how offset they were putting it in so like they didn't they just didn't put everything in right and then they flipped it over and they measured their the edge of the butter pad to the soft edge and they they took their fit thumb and as they moved it down like some points it would be like the full thumb and some points it would be here, but it wasn't like it was consistent. Like it was tapered. It was just like all over the place. And I was like, I literally want to go do buy one to just prove a point and then go return it and be like, this board's defective. But yeah. You know, so, all right. So we got T James V looking at a spring break resort twin. I'm 190 size 11 boots. Would you go with the 156, 158 or something else? 56 if you really want it to be playful and kind of like more park oriented. 58 if you're going to ride the whole resort and use it as freestyle. That's that's my hot take. Uh, yeah, I would probably go 58 just based on your size in general. Like, for all around use, yeah. But I mean, the 50, yeah. that board rides stiffer than you think. Hmm. You're going to find out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. When the time comes, it's right there. I love this one from Orion. Avery, what do you do in the off season? I heckle tourists. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a career out of it. <laughs> yesterday, so yesterday I'm walking down the street, down Washington. It's a one way coming up. And there's some idiot tourist parked the wrong way on the one way. And then some other tourist decides to like three point turn to park the same way, the wrong way on the one way. And the guy's looking at me and I've never seen anyone three point turn like this, but he drove up over the sidewalk, almost hit the stone wall. And I'm looking at him, just shaking my head. He's got the window. And he's like, what? And I was like, you can't park there. He's like, I'm not parking. I'm turning around. And I was like, why? Clearly you, you can't park that way. Are you fucking retarded? Hey man, you don't have to be mean. And I was like, you don't have to be fucking stupid, but you choose to. I was like, who the fuck taught you to drive? Uh, all right. We got JNAC 17 looking for a fun shaped powder board with some camber. My 147 storm chaser is a little too loose on groomers between stashes. Any Rex 130 pounds size 8.5 boots. You probably want the storm wolf, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's going to grip. Like that's the one problem with the, the storm chaser, especially the older one. It's just loose when you get on a groomer. That's where the storm wolf comes in a little more precision. If you go that route, uh, you could do a Karua pencil too. That'd be fun. Yeah. What, what do you think? Um, 
I mean, fun. Sh I mean, I you could go with the fish as well. Like the Solomon fish would be a good one to go with, just because it felt fine carving on groomers. Like a yarrow carved really well on groomers for being like a fun powder board. So that's what I would say. I'd go with that, or depends like how much you're trying to ride groomers and everything like that. But like, hmm, let me think really quick. Quiver Cannon 203. Yeah. Yeah. Just do that one. 203. Everyone needs a 203. Yeah. Just shift your weight to the nose. It'll be fine. Yeah. All right. We got Bear264. Sup, guys. I want to get a second board for Pouch Under and Shop and Hollow Ass on Groomer. I was looking at a Ride Mountain Pig since I have some stiff bindings already. I was also looking at a LibTech Orca. The Orca is not going to be stiff. No. No. Like, you have to bump up to the Apex Orca to get stiff. And even then, it's not going to be as stiff as a mountain pig. Plus, the base finish on the mountain pig is better. So, it'll give you more speed when you need to push through shit. Yeah. I'd say go mountain pig. Uh, all right. So, we got this question from BZMs. For putting a shim in the top of your boot to eat space near the shin, would you put it on the shell or the liner? What did you do to Slim? Slim died. Um, so what you want to do is like on your liner right here, right? You want to put it on the tongue there. That's where it's going to suck up the most volume, really. And you're going to build that up so that it presses into the tongue of the shell. And that's ideally where you want to put it. You don't want to put it on the liner. It's really that would defeat the purpose. Oh, try again. Wah, wah, wah. Well, we've been here two hours and 12 minutes. You want to call it a day or should we take a few more? We can take a couple more. All right. Okay. So uh, I'll take this one from HW. Hey, I somehow scored a Rosnell Super Sashimi. Yeah, those were limited. I think they only made a couple hundred of them. Have you ridden it? I didn't ride the Super Sashimi, but for next year, it's called the Slashimi, and I rode it. It looks like they listen to you. They they listen to me for the shape. It needs a little more um, carbon in the tail, in my opinion, just like a little bit more. But fun board, like really slashy, like, and you could play around with it. I had a, had a good time with it. Uh All right. Uh, let's see. Let you take this one from Hunter Gynep. Uh, Which board is stiffer and more aggressive between the Black Snowbird to Death and the Flagship? Thanks, guys. I think the Black Snowbird to Death is. The Flagship has a, quite a bit of rocker in the nose that pretty much starts like right after like your front foot, where Black Snowbird is going to have more camber throughout the board. And yeah. What do you think on that one? No, that's that the hundred percent. Like the Black Snow to Death is closer to the Ultra flagship. Yeah, and I think a lot of people. I don't know if it's Jones marketing or not, but like a lot of people think the flagship's a lot more aggressive than it truly is. Yeah, like I don't think it's, it's that aggressive. It's, well, so it's their marketing coupled with so they've made that board softer over the last eight years. Yeah, so when it first came 100%. out, it was fucking aggressive. Yeah. And then they had the carbon flagship. They got rid of the carbon flagship. Then there was yeah. just the flagship. Then they introduced the ultra flagship. But the ultra flagship, it's only an incremental difference in flex up to it. But it's got those impact plates, so it rides more damp underfoot. So when you can, when you hit shitty snow, you push right through it with the ultra flagship. But even comparing like flagship, ultra flagship, and black snowboard to death. The Black Snowbird to Death is still more aggressive than the Ultra Flagship in the grand scheme of things. As it might kill you, yeah. I, st I think the Ultra Flagship's an easier ride. Oh, yeah. That's how I would say. Oh, no. Like, no, it's an like, easier I, ride. You can put an intermediate, like, in a, a higher level intermediate rider on an Ultra Flagship, and they'll be like, oh, this board is making me a better rider. You take the same person and put them on a Black Snowbird to Death, and they're like, this thing's going to fucking kill me. Yeah. And that's that's the difference. That's 
that's where it comes in into play with that. And then the bigger thing is the camber profiles and the side cuts on both are different. Like if I had to choose, like if I was going to go out and I was like, I need something stiff and aggressive, I'm going to go to the black snowboard to death more. But if I was like, I need something that looks like it's really more aggressive and I can be aggressive when I need to, but laid back, I would go ultra flagship. That's, mm -hmm. that's where I'm at with those two. So, yeah. yeah. All right. We got Charles. Thanks for the Jones Apollo binding recommendation. Was able to go lay down Euro carves on my K2 Alchemist today. Tons of power to the edge, but feels more stable. I think that was a you mm -hmm. response. Cause I think you're the one that recommended that to him. So. Well, yeah. I'm happy you like them. Yeah. It's a good binding and like yeah. great combo for the Alchemist. Ooh, this isn't blank. All right. I'll take this one from uh, Luis Gonzalez. Hi, looking for an all mountain free ride board. Have been looking between the ride deep fake or the mountain pig. Primarily ice coast groomers enjoy charging with the occasional cruising thoughts. Deep fake. Yeah. Yeah. Because where where you got me was the occasional cruising. Yep. You don't really do it. that on the mountain pig. Yeah. So go ahead. I think fake. that's uh I think that's the last question we want to take today. It's been a long day. Yeah. You know? TC's gotta go eat some motor and rub some CB days on his bruise, stretch, take the dog yep. out eat dinner, mm -hmm. finish a review if he's got enough brain power left. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I got to do, yeah. Yeah, There's a list I got to go shit. answer emails and shit. But for anyone that won stickers today, make sure you email info at Angry Snowboarder with your full mailing address, USPS, United States Postal Service. That's what we do. Um, but, you know, we're here for you guys. We really appreciate you guys for everything. We'll be back next week. Who knows what the topic is. But if you're looking for something to watch after this, check out the cultural mystery link down below. Got that in there. You know, uh, don't forget to check out Eric Blem's new book, um, Darkest White, about Craig Kelly and the Avalanche. That'd be a good thing to check out. And uh, tomorrow will be the literal last board review for 2024 product. We're done. Like, I'm pretty sure that is the last one unless Ben finds some straggler, but... That was like 160 something reviews, I think, is what we did. So between boards and bindings. So those are done. And uh, we appreciate that. And then uh, remember, if you're shopping online, there's a bunch of stuff coming up on sale at our affiliates. So we got Evo, Christie Sports, Tactics, Blower Board Shop, Buckman's, REI. Um, I'll probably put something in the community tab. TC, you got anything to add? Nope. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later.